Our problem is the bad quality topsoil. After we sow the seeds and the seedlings begin to grow, we can see that they don't develop normally. It's very poor. It's like sand. The agricultural extension officers travel across the countryside, meeting farmers and seeking solutions to their problems. Their job is to forge the link between the knowledge that farmers actually need and the mass of technical and scientific information on hand today. The training course for extension officers in Togo. The goal? To learn how to simplify complicated information for use by farmers. Agricultural research findings are meant to reach these farmers, otherwise they are useless. The findings aim to provide solutions to problems that farmers themselves are encountering. Once we've obtained the results needed, if we don't make the effort to deliver the findings to the farmers enabling them to solve the problems that they originally identified, all the work is a waste of time. During the course, each trainee has to draw up a fact sheet for farmers. This must be short, simple and clear, describing the steps to be taken to solve the problem farmers are facing. To prepare the fact sheet, the first step is to gather the information. Here, we are at the Togolese Agricultural Research Institute. I've come for information on coffee growing. We have talked to the farmers about their constraints. We extension officers do not always have the required solutions on site, so we obtain them from specialized research scientists who give us the required technical information. In addition to the research centers, solutions can be found via the Internet, agricultural journals, documentation centers, or sometimes from other farmers. There are so many possible sources of information these days that it is like finding your way through a labyrinth, finding the right path, the right source to obtain the correct answer for a specific problem has become a profession in its own right over the years. In days gone by, older people passed on their knowledge and know-how to their offspring. The village griot or storyteller was the protector of all knowledge that existed and passed it on to future generations. But as knowledge became more and more complex and came from outside, the role of the extension officer gradually took over. And nowadays, I regard them as indispensable. Sometimes, you know, when one, we get from one source, you have to triangulate with another to make sure that your information is valid for the populace that you want to serve. Sometimes you get information that may be valid for a given agroecology, which you have to check with your scientists in your locality to ensure that the result is usable by the farmers in your area. So that the role has changed because uh, they have to be more judgmental in the acquisition of information so that they can help their farmers better. Step two, drawing up a fact sheet. Each trainee writes a description of the individual steps the farmers must perform in order to carry out the operation without making any mistakes. Most fact sheets cover technical operations, but they may also deal with economic or even health issues. Extension officers must be able to address all sorts of problems experienced in rural areas. It is essential that these fact sheets contain the language, tools and measuring units that farmers habitually use, be it a can of tomatoes or a bowl. And the fact sheets must be short, easy to understand and cover all steps involved. This can spark off a great deal of discussion. You say a box of this, a box of that, that's an odd way of writing. In Togo we take a matchbox to measure the product. No, no, you take one tube for three ayakban. No, no, no. No, no, that's not right. Step three, illustrations. As many farmers have little or no literacy skills, illustrations are of key importance. They must clearly describe the process and the actions to be taken, a meticulous job to ensure that no confusion can arise. If we said the... You have to try to faithfully visualize what you want to say. 
Even if the drawing looks a bit funny, it's essential that viewers understand exactly the idea it represents. At last, the final crucial step, the test. The extension officers return to the field where the farmers themselves give the green light for the fact sheets. Without any outside assistance and by simply following the text and the illustrations, they have to be able to carry out the described tasks from beginning to end. Just one ambiguity, one misunderstanding, an illustration or a measurement can cause the whole operation to fail. We have identified some improvements that have to be made. Some of the illustrations are not clear enough. Extension offices will become increasingly important for agriculture in the coming years. This training event was organized by the Technical Center for Agricultural and Rural Cooperation, CTA, an organization financed by the European Union, whose goal is to improve access to information for farmers in African, Caribbean and Pacific countries. <coughs> Training events address two vital concerns, quantity and quality. First of all, the ratio of extension agents to farmers is very low in Africa. And this is where you even need it most because most of the people are not well informed. They don't also have the capacity to look for information themselves. And more than that, there's also a quality problem. Quality of the message that goes across. Not many people are able to, to simplify the research results, the scientific terms that are used, so that they can be assimilable by the farmers. CTA has already carried out seven training events of this type in all regions of the African continent since 2002. The fact sheets are then made available to farmers and extension officers in research and documentation centers and on CTA's website. Globalization offers enhanced opportunities for farmers, but it also complicates matters for them and traditional knowledge often does not go far enough. Given the labyrinth of data available nowadays, the ability to search and identify the appropriate information that matches the real needs of the farmer is becoming an essential skill for development.